smell her eyeballs like cooking. Oh my god, it's so freaking. What's up fam and welcome back to my channel. My name is Marissa and I am a minimalist mom. Recently I shared a video of 50 things that I no longer buy since becoming a minimalist and to follow that up as a kind of fun counterpoint, I wanted to share 10 things that I still buy as a minimalist. I've been a minimalist for much longer than I've been making YouTube videos and since I started making YouTube videos, I've come to realize there's all sorts of different kinds of minimalists. There's eco minimalists, there's extreme minimalists, Minimalist. I would consider myself more in the category of a frugal financial minimalist. Let's talk a little bit about some things that I still buy as a minimalist that you might not necessarily expect. And if you like getting ideas on how to live minimally, I would love it if you would go down and hit the subscribe button down below to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to ring the bell so that you get notifications when I share any new videos or go live, you'll see it right away. I forgot something in the other room, but whoa, my, my floor is squeaky. But I just wanted to also add that just because something works for me doesn't mean that it's going to work for you. No two minimalists are the same, just like snowflakes. And just because I say that I still need something or I don't need something doesn't mean that you have to follow that. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive into some of the things that I still buy as a minimalist. The first item is high value subscriptions. So I don't pay for a gym membership and I don't pay for things like magazine subscriptions, but I do pay for certain subscriptions that contribute what I like to call high value to my life. And the three that I'm thinking of immediately are Amazon Prime, Netflix, and Skillshare. Amazon Prime has literally saved me so much time and so much money, especially as a parent. I would save so much money with their subscribe and save option. You get diapers, wipes, booty cream, all the stuff that you need as a new mom, up to 15% off. And then you also get free two day shipping, which is huge. So once you're a Prime member, you can get music that you can stream for free. And then also they have videos. And not only do they have videos, you can download videos to your iPad and you can take those videos with you if you're traveling, which when we were moving back and forth to China, to the USA, back and forth to Germany, Having those videos on my iPad really did save my butt as a mom. I do like Netflix just for entertainment purposes. That alone would make it worth it. However, since we recently moved to Germany, it's really helped my kids acquire German much faster. So we made a rule. They can only watch TV on the weekends and they can only watch it in German. And they learned German so quickly. You wouldn't believe it. In case you're wondering why I'm talking about learning German, my family recently declared our entire home down to eight suitcases and moved overseas to Germany and now I have to learn German myself and then also I recently signed up for Skillshare I found that editing these videos was eating up a lot of my time and I knew I wasn't doing it the best way possible so what I did is I signed up for Skillshare and I really really loved this class that I took I learned how to edit much faster everything that I mentioned here that I can link to I will put down in the description below for your convenience if you want to check it out another thing that we still spend money on is we still buy water pitchers and water filters. We found that the water here in Berlin is really, really hard. And when we use our coffee machine and our rice cooker, they were getting calcifications really, really fast. And also the water just tasted a little bit off to us. So we bought a Brita filter just like we had in the US rather than having to go out and buy bottles of plastic water, which is really bad for the environment. And we filter the water and we use the filtered water for drinking water. And we also use it in our machines. And, and in the long run, that's going to help us prolong the lives of our machines. Overall, the Brita filter really helps us have better tasting and cleaner water. Another thing that we still buy is coffee and teas. We really enjoy a morning cup of coffee and then usually in the afternoon we'll have a nice jasmine tea. I never drank coffee until I was a mom and once I was done breastfeeding, I finally gave into it. I definitely look forward to waking up and having a hot cup of coffee in the morning. I do drink my coffee black 
no sugar, no cream, nothing. So it's definitely cheaper than a 20 cent iced coffee. Bada bing, saving money. It does save you a lot of money in the long run to get your own machine and make your own coffee at home. Another thing that I definitely still like to spend money on is eating out. Now we don't go out and eat fast food really, and we don't go out to eat all that often. I cook almost everything at home from scratch, whether it's chicken nuggets, pizza, all these things I make myself at home, but sometimes it's nice to go out and treat yourself a little bit. So once or twice a month, we will go out and we will have dinner together. When we go out, we'll usually choose something that's a little bit different than what we normally eat and try to experiment a little and taste global flavors from all over the world. Something else that I still spend money on, not as much money as you would think, but I do still have to buy these every once in a while is reusable bags. So since we've moved to Germany, we've really cut down on our plastic bag waste at the grocery store people either bring their own bags or they can buy paper bags at the store so since we've moved here I've bought a lot of these reusable bags this is like literally life-changing say I want to run to the grocery store I already have this in my purse and then I have everything I need to buy what I need right there and I can fold it up and put it back in my purse the only thing about these bags is they do tend to wear over time and I have worn out a couple already where the seams have come loose and the straps break or they get a hole worn in them from some pokey spiky fruit or vegetables and then I have to replace them but it's not as often as you think and it's definitely better than spending it on plastic bags. I also have an amazing rolling cart. We live in the city we have a very walkable lifestyle and I can walk to at least four grocery stores in the immediate vicinity if I know that I'm going to be carrying a lot more groceries, which let's face it, I still shop like an American, so that's most of the time. I take my rolling cart with me and it can even go up and down the stairs because it has these spinning wheels and I take that baby with me everywhere. That is like one of my favorite things to go grocery shopping and roll it home. All right, the next item that I still buy and I do feel a little bit guilty about this and I would like to consider additional options is contacts and glasses. I have had glasses since I was nine years old. I have extremely, extremely bad eyes. I also really, really like wearing contacts, but as I've gotten older, I've found that my eyes have gotten drier and drier, and that's probably partially just getting older and partially because I've worn contacts for so long that my eyes tend to be drier. And so to combat that, I have to have daily contact lenses to allow my eyes to breathe. And I don't necessarily Necessarily like using contacts on the daily so what I'll usually do is I will buy like a year subscription but then I will stretch that over two or even three years and alternate between glasses and contacts I would really love to look into LASIK it was something that I was starting to consider in the US and then we moved to Germany I'm a little bit scared um, my sister-in-law said she got it done and she said the only bad thing was she could smell her eyeballs like cooking as the laser. Oh my God, it's so freaky. Yeah, eyeballs freak me out. Something else that I still purchase is home decor and furniture to an extent. I really like having a bed. I really like having a couch. I really like having a desk to sit at. I do have a few more furniture pieces that I need to buy. I don't spontaneously go out and just buy furniture. Being in a 100 year old home in Germany, that means that we don't have any closets. So I need an additional Billy bookshelf for my office because I found that one Billy bookshelf is not sufficient for all the things that I need to store. And I try to keep it very minimal. Like our living room only has five pieces in it. Our bedroom only has a bed, a mattress, a hamper, and a wardrobe. We keep it very, very minimal. Something else that I also still purchase is household cleaners. So I've seen some minimalists that make their own household cleaners and I do use a vinegar and water spray for the surfaces in the bathroom and the toilets. But as far as like toilet bowl cleaner and dish soap and hand soap and things like that, I don't make my own. Maybe that is something that I will look into in the future. It does look really cool and soothing. Something 
something else that I still purchase even though I'm a minimalist is children's books. I mentioned I don't buy books for myself. I do have a Kindle, but I would never say no to buying books for my children because I feel that reading is really, really important for children. My son is a little bookworm just like I used to be and he loves to read. So if he wants a book, I'm gonna buy him a book. And my little son is really into ocean creatures. He has this mirror ocean book that he loves to look at and he draws the creatures out of there. So children's books is something that I absolutely will not stop buying. Yes, I'll probably donate them and hand them off as my children outgrow them over time. But for right now, we are really, really enjoying having a lot of children's books. Really, really, really appreciate that my children love the written word. And I want to encourage that as much as possible that so that they grow up with a love of reading in their hearts. All right, and now finally we are at the end of the list. And the final thing that I want to mention that I still buy as a minimalist is a high quality phone. I have right here, I'm using it right now, the iPhone X, S Max. I do not go and buy the latest model. I will switch it out when it gets to the point where it's very slow and outdated. The camera on this is so amazing. Like recently when we had gone to a castle, I was able to film and shoot some really good shots using only my phone. I really love that whenever we go out somewhere exploring, I don't have to lug my camera around with me. I can literally just take my phone out and I can shoot something really, really quickly and have excellent quality videos and excellent quality photos right there on my phone. I also use my phone for a lot of digital bookkeeping. I have the Google Keep app and I do a lot of checklists and planning right on my phone and it helps me to stay organized. And there's a lot of ways to get rid of your old phones. Like a lot of stores will take trade-ins. Apple I know does trade-ins for old phones, old iPads, computers. You can trade it in and get a credit for a newer model without having to sell it yourself. Although I have sold things myself on eBay, there's also a website called Gazelle that you can use for that. I'm gonna link all this stuff down in the description below for you. I hope that you enjoyed this video on the 10 things that I still buy as a minimalist. If you haven't seen the video of the 50 things that I don't buy, make sure to go and watch that. I'll link it down below. And if you haven't already, hit that like button and go down and subscribe to my channel to join our minimalist family. We would love to see you around again soon. Take care, bye bye. Almost fell off my chair. You got a bad hair day, gonna wear a hat, make it all better, just hide all that. Mel, 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 her eyeballs like cooking. Oh my god, it's so freaky.